The purpose of this video presentation is to give an understanding of the methods, plant, and sequence to construct civil engineering projects. General items. Contractors site facilities comprise. Offices, canteens, toilets, drying rooms, stores, plant yard, generators, and workshops. Sheet pile temporary shaft is used to enable an excavation for a deep structure. The construction sequence is Install sheet piles Excavate and install bracing Excavate to final level Construct concrete structure Backfill, remove bracing and sheet piles Dewatering is the removal or drainage of groundwater and or surface slash rainwater usually by pumping to keep the works dry. Water Pollution Precautions Pump and rain water that is contaminated with clay and silt needs to be treated prior to discharge from site. Settlement ponds and settlement tanks are two methods. Traffic management plans are necessary when working on or beside roads. Realignment of motorway. Divert live traffic onto realigned carriageway. Examples of temporary security fences that are higher than the usual. Examples of site hoarding to secure a site. False work used to support the bridge deck formwork. Geotechnical. Diaphragm wall construction. A diaphragm wall is a reinforced concrete wall that is constructed underground in situ. A deep narrow trench is excavated in panels and filled with concrete. A mechanical grab or cutter suspended from a special tracked crane is used. Vibro compaction is used to compact granular ground to improve its load bearing capacity and reduces the seismic liquefaction potential used for the Palm Islands in Dubai. A vibrator suspended from a crane is used and inserted to a triangular grid pattern. Stone columns are used to improve the load-bearing capacity of ground. Top feed vibrators suspended from an excavator or crane along with loading shovels are used. The stone columns are constructed to a triangular grid pattern.
Earth works. Muck shifting is the process of moving large quantities of soil and rock. Cycle time for 7 km haulage distance using an excavator 45 ton weight and dumper with a 40 ton capacity, the cycle time is 34 minutes. Rock breaking. The excavability of rock depends mainly on the rock strength and the layer thickness. This diagram shows excavation methods for rock of various strengths and thicknesses, with a free face. Mining. Rock breaking underground methods. Rock bolts installation to strengthen the rock and eliminate rock falls. Spray mortar to line rock face. Dredging is excavation under water. Reclamation is filling in water to make land. Before digging establish the location and route of underground cables. Concrete. Concrete batching plant comprises, concrete mixer, control cabin, silos for cement and fly ash, aggregate bins, and conveyor belt system to feed the mixer. Also aggregate storage bays and water storage tanks. The mixing is computer controlled and has a dynamic screen display, showing the process. The material storage capacity is, to match two days concrete production. Quarry and aggregate production. Rock is blasted free from a quarry face and fragmented. The blasted rock is crushed and screened to produce different size ranges of aggregates. Reinforcement cutting and bending operation. The sequence to construct a reinforced concrete wall is as follows. Tie the reinforcement. Erect stop ends and the wall shutters. Pour and vibrate the concrete mix. Remove the shutters after the concrete has hardened. The general sequence to construct a reinforced concrete tank is as follows. Construct the floor and wall panels in a hit and miss pattern. Construct the floor and wall corners and T-shaped panels. Construct the roof working outwards from the back. The sequence to post tension a bridge deck is as follows. Fix the ducts and anchorages. Install the stressing strand. Concrete the deck. Stress the strands and lock at anchorages. Grout the ducts.
Shown is the construction of a light rail viaduct where an overhead gantry was used to lift and place the precast concrete viaduct segments. The key wall is 24 meters high and 2,250 meters long. The precast blocks weighed up to 180 tons. The coping blocks are cast in situ. A precast yard for casting, storage, and loading the key blocks onto barges. Shown is the sequence, plant, and methods to construct a breakwater. A precast yard to manufacture concrete precast sea armor. Air traffic control tower constructed using a jump-up shutters system. Sequence to construct culvert with head walls. Pipe work. Sequence, methods, and plan to construct a gas slash oil pipeline across country. Method for pipe jacking. The pipes are assembled in the access shaft and are pushed using a hydraulic jack. Directional drilling under a taxiway. Cable laying. A winch is used to pull a cable off a cable drum. Rollers are used so the cable doesn't get damaged. Pipe spools fabrication. A welding positioner rotates the pipe spool allowing a welder stand in one position. Steps to fabricate pipe spools.
Structural Steel Sequence to erect a structural steel multi-story building Sequence to erect a structural steel single-story portal building Sequence, plant, and methods to construct a steel circular storage tank Sequence, methods, and plan to construct a steel pipe rack that carries the pipework and cables between the different processes in a gas-slash-oil refinery. Roof truss 190 ton in weight. Sections welded together on trestles and the truss is lifted into position. Piling Piling plant, equipment, and material Crawler crane, piling hammer, temporary casing, piling rig, concrete pump, concrete mixer trucks, treamy pipe, and reinforcement cage Secant pile wall Sequence, methods, and plan to construct a secant pile underground wall Pile load test A jack is used to load the pile in steps and gauges measure any settlement Roads and paving Asphalt batching yard Road construction Sequence, methods, and plan to construct a motorway on a high embankment Runway construction Sequence, plant, and methods to construct a runway
four pavers used to minimize lengths of cold joints. Slip form airport concrete paving. Tunnels. 3D animation showing underground station and twin tunnels. Tunneling construction methods Program animation using 3D schematic profile and timeline Process to precast tunnel segments. Micro tunneling sequence and methods. Micro tunneling is used to dig small tunnels where a tunneling boring machine is controlled from a cabin at ground level. Miscellaneous works Fencing Sequence of construction Clear and grade the ground Fix corner and straining posts Fix intermediate posts Fix line wire, chain link, and razor wire Lifting a large column slash vessel from the horizontal and rotate into the vertical using two cranes A climbing tower crane lifts itself up using a climbing attachment with hydraulic jacks that surrounds the mast. The climbing attachment lifts itself up off the erected mast and inserts a new mast section. Wingtip clearance requirements
Regulations regarding working adjacent to a live runway. Airfield ground lights. The pot is leveled, using a jig prior to grouting into position. Localizer antenna part of the instrument landing system, and approach lights. Glide slope antenna. Administration. A dashboard is a single page, graphical representation of current progress and historical trends. Histogram charts for resources and outputs per month. Plant and equipment list and workers job titles. Daily work records showing the allocation of resources and materials for the work activities carried out daily. Organogram, shown are the line and lateral relationships between the various team members and their relative position in the site organization. Staff directory with contact details. This video presentation is an example of knowledge capture and sharing. Can be used for educational purposes.